At Alca de Lucent, we've been working on this um, subject for about three or four years, um, more specifically on mobile learning and mobile health, um, to be honest. And um, so we're absolutely thrilled to be part of this initiative. We think that there's a lot um, to be accomplished in this field still. There's a lot of barriers, a lot of challenges. And so we really think that this initiative um, can possibly try and fill some gaps. There are some wonderful things being done already by a number of alliances and groups but um, there remains to be a lot uh, to be done and I, think, uh, and I think this group can try and identify some of those gaps so we can try and fill them, play a little bit of a role in, the, in this picture. Well, I, I, think, um, I think again it's very important to try to figure out what has not been done or where there's still areas um, where there needs to be more energy put into it. I think the fact that it's ITU um, triggering this initiative, we have to think of what um, the circles of influence of ITU is and remain realistic on how much can be accomplished by a group like this as well. Um, I really hope what I've identified as gaps, possibly from some of the other initiatives um, that I see out there, um, more specifically again on mobile learning and mobile health, is again using of course the ITU sort of specificity, um, but I see a lot of lack of um, perhaps incentives um, that we could try to make better understood perhaps uh, among a number of organizations. And I think there's also a lack of regional and local uh, initiatives where people can meet in a cross-sector manner. So having health people meet with ICT um, uh, sector in order to trigger some of these partnerships and initiatives around mobile health, for example. And again, a lot of people are meeting at the global level and there's a lot of papers and recommendations being written, but I think we need to do a lot more to involve or to increase the awareness on a regional and local level. And again, things are being done local and regional, but all of these people talking to each other and sharing best practices would be very helpful, I think. I think it's going to take quite a while. I think, of course, it's going to be a process and we'll see things. Things are already happening. I mean, if you take M Health, there's already a thousand projects out in, in, in the world. But for it to truly scale and become adopted is going to take a long time huh? because even in the health sector, um, there are a number of players that are still just getting their head around M Health. The ICT sector has been aware of these opportunities for a long time because we see statistics every morning on the data revolution and the, and, and the, excuse me, the mobile revolution. But for other sectors who are not bathing in the ICT, I think there's a lot of awareness that still needs to be increased, a lot of barriers also to, uh, to conquer. So um, I'm very optimistic that we're going to see a lot of wonderful things happen over the next, even next few years. But there's going to be experimentation also that needs to happen to see how we can scale, how we can make things financially sustainable, who has something to gain in the ecosystem on these projects. And that's not going to happen in one day.